Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Oops. <laughs> I bumped myself into another computer I have behind me. Uh, I have an interesting video here. This time, again, is a repair on a marine computer. Uh, this is for Alexander Magana. This is a 7.3 liters Mercruiser MPI. Uh, this was sent to Bob, uh, OVD Diagnostics. I want to also let you guys know that I have a good conversation with Bob. He is actually uh, called me and said that you know that he felt that I was a, a bit a, a bit uh, hard on my last couple of videos with him, and he wanted to know why. So we have a good conversations, and I said, I, you know, that I I wasn't lying on anything. I was just trying to address that I have the hardware part taken care, of, and he's the one taking care of the software. So we should, you know, complement each other since he is the one only that has the calibrations. And I said, you know, I, I'm always very crystal clear with the customers. Uh, I can do repairs on hardware. I cannot do calibrations. And so he's doing the same thing with the customers when he has no way to repair a computer. He's now also saying, you know, I did check your videos, check what you're doing, and I can definitely see that you know what you're doing. So I will definitely be talking to customers if they want to send that over to you and see if it can be repaired. And otherwise, he also sells the ECMs, which I don't. So, but yeah. Uh, in this case, I have a conversation with Alex. He contacted me and says, like, dude, I sent the computer back to Bob. Um, he could not repair it the last time with the calibration. And I'm just going to ask him to send it back to me so I can send it to you. I uh, recorded a short video, which I'm going to show you very shortly, where or uh, how the computer came with uh, injector on uh, J117, which is this computer has two connectors. These are... Let me show you the computer in here. So we have the one close to this bracket here is J2, and the one on the other side is J1. They both have 32 pins. And then on J1, we have the injector. There's two injectors. Um, there's a, a TBI injector right on the throttle body. So we have uh, injector bank one and uh, J11 and then injector bank 2 on J117. Uh, you'll see in other videos that I have posted how the one bank uh, is shorter when sometimes you not even need to have the ignition on. In this case, it was. This is a 7.4. It might be a little different, but I'm pretty sure this is a, a TBI MPI. That's what they call. Um, if well, if if it's a multiple injection, it might have multiple injectors. I will have to look into the actual. Um, diagram because if it's a multiple injector a multi port injector it's a still like what we call batch fire so we'll have a steel bank one injectors and bank two injectors so because it's the same for me the same testing as you can see right now the computer is working a hundred percent i have both injectors right now here on the oscilloscope connected and then this to confirm how what is the milliseconds 4.133 again plus minus a little bit i'm showing 4.2 you can see it's one two one two so it's pretty accurate this is pretty accurate uh, as far as the injection pulse width we can see that it's showing 4.4.1 based on the values that i am uh, giving the computer it's been running for 9.20 minutes uh, calibration check zoom 0388 and this is the hours on the boat 354.33 no faults so this is great uh, we also have what well, i also have right here a fiable reference in the sensor ground check and make sure that everything is properly i'm going to have the computer uh, working for a while to make sure that uh, it doesn't come back into anything but let me talk uh let me show you what i did first all right guys i got the screen recording so i have two short videos that i recorded for him that i have not edited or anything so i want to show you that I'm going to put them in the ignition and we can see immediately short it. Stop on. 
computer. This is what I see. All right, so after this, I contacted him. Well, actually, I did another video so before I contacted him. So uh, this is the second video when I'm doing the curve tracer test. It's a 100-point test. So I go all over the computer. Let me stop this video so to talk. Uh, let me get a better part of the video. All right, so look, as soon as you have what I have in here, green dot, green dot, all that means is good. Whatever I have red dots, it means we have problems. Again, I'm stopping the video here. So uh, for those that have been seeing this before, we have two bank of injectors. Again, J11 and J117 connector on the top is the J11. So Pin 1 is right here and pin 17 is right here. The one on J11 is the upper section. The one on J117, uh, sorry, I'm saying that's uh, backward. Let me just, yeah, no, J11 is the bottom one and J117 is the upper one. And we can see right here. So on the bottom one, everything is green. So all that is perfect. Uh, let me just miss that. Uh, in here, we have problems on this area, not on the drivers that are replaceable. And I told him, this crystal pre-driver, I cannot do anything with it. But I said, let me, uh, if you consent on me spending time, because I mean, my time is not free, I will try my best to fix your computer. But if I remove diodes, uh, uh, BGT transistors, and I'll obviously replace that driver, and it doesn't work because even though it shows green, I will replace the entire circuit except for this to see if this is repairable. Uh, well, the proof is in the pudding, the computer is working. So, yes, so this is how I do the test. I also take pictures for the customer. After this, I contacted him, Alexander, and I explained what I had. Uh, let me just, um, these are my uh, saved uh, values for the curve tracer. When I have the same picture that you saw there before, so this is the picture that I'm using in there that it looks a little uh, blurry because it's, you know, it's, it's minimized. But yeah, this is the picture that I use. Uh, again, going into his folder. Let me just go back here to Marine FE3. Uh, customer folders. Uh, as you can see, I mean, I've been working in a lot, a lot of computers. Uh, uh, I'm not guessing my work. So this is a 7.4 Mer Cruiser. So he should be somewhere here. Alexander McMahon, right here. So this is the picture. I got more, more information coming uh, for myself that I have in my email just to keep on his folder. I will save also this runtime uh, idle and a high RPM to so make sure the injectors are staying good. As we can see, we got no double injection on his injectors on the um, oscilloscope, which is great. That's what we're looking for. But yeah, so I also saved this file for him. And this is a higher resolution picture from the screen. You can see test complete, 100 points. And you can see all green dots. And again, the red dots died before, as I mentioned, in the injector driver for J117. I hope I'm saying that because sometimes I'm working in different computers and it goes, but you follow my my test. It's 100%. It's, this is not, a, I'm not guessing. This is not a guesswork. Uh, let me stop the screen recording. All right, so uh, let's raise the RPMs, right? So right now we're in 750. So let me raise the RPM to around 3000. And then we have to change the TPS, which is right now, and uh, let's put it around 20%, right? The map, I, I don't usually change it too much. Map will change the injector milliseconds. I try to keep it around around 13 or so. And we can see that it's now 5.8. If we go over, it's matching perfectly 5.8. We got obviously more injections uh, on the screen in here, so more because it's happening more rapidly, right? More RPM, more injector, more injectors on the screen. I can move them with this to be more accurate. You need to select it. Huh? 
But yeah, around six milliseconds. So yeah, it is matching perfectly. We can see 5.9, 5.9. So it is, I mean, right dead on the money. Uh, we have a still no fault. Computer has been running for 20.4 minutes, which is great. Uh, Alex, I will be contacting you shortly uh, just to give you the good news. And I'm recording this video so you guys can see that I have everything to repair this computer, not just the uh, parts, but also the knowledge. Uh, I do share a lot of testings that you can perform and this, and sometimes I take the time to explain you what you can do to test if the problem is in the computer or if it's in the boat. Uh, normal things that you want to check on these computers, again, powers and grounds, fiber reference, sensor ground, make sure that nothing is shorted, nothing is preventing the computer. But if you have communication and it's only one bank of injectors that are giving you the issue, uh, most likely you're going to have a problem on the boat, uh, ECM. So what you can do is unplug all the injectors, right? Uh, use a knowing good injector if you have an extra set or something like that. Uh, you can measure the resistance of the injectors from the known good bank to the known but bad bank. If the uh, resistance is the same, well, well then you know that uh, the problem is not in the injectors. It's definitely something else. The next thing that you want to do is make sure that you have power on one of the connectors. Uh, these are going to be, I mean, like all injectors we have, a two-wire injector, right? So we have power on one side and then the control side coming from the computer. You will use a multimeter to check which one you unplug it and you can see then with the ignition on which side has the power. Now you will plug it in and then using a annoyed light which is the most simple thing you can use. I mean, you can actually use any test light because this is not a, a small driver. This is a very robust system. So you can use just a regular test light to power. You connect one side of the test light to power and then touch it in there. You start the vehicle, start the engine, and you don't see flickering. It's a steady on. It's, it's definitely in the computer. The, the next thing you want to do, because, okay, well, so do we have a chore? In the harness or we have a shorter computer driver right so what you want to do is unplug j connector j11 and then measure from the injectors now you know which side is the activation not on the power side you're going to measure from the other side to uh, the j1 or the j17 if the continuity is good you check continuity with a multimeter to power continuity to ground and continuity in between um, cables and let's say you know the same uh, power feed that you have in the injector make sure that you don't have continuity to the other wire but if it's no continuity it's only continuity from the one injector to j117 which it should i mean that's a wire that is providing the control then everything is fine and you can also use a test light if you unplug the connector from the computer i will remove the computer from from the equation you know now that you have two wires on that um uh, circuit J11 and J117 with the injectors uh, on or just in a set of an injector you disconnect all the injectors and you just put a test light um, in between the two pins that are now supplying or the were supplying injectors and then you're going to use that J11 or J117 either back you're testing and you're just going to touch the ground that test light should light up if with the computer unplug you have the test light and without doing that it's light up then you have it shorted in the wire right do you immediately know because the computer is removed so it should be no light unless you provide a ground but if you provide a ground and if the light is off and now you provide a ground then everything is good right so i hope that you guys understand what i'm what i'm telling you if you need a little more explanation i can show you wiring diagrams again is j11 and j117 those are the two drivers for injectors disconnect the injectors you put a test light in between if with the computer unplugged is not on i think that it's uh, nothing else to check right because you already check everything then but if you want just to address more just touch to ground j11 or j117 the light lights up, disconnect the ground, it doesn't light up, that's it. Problem is in, in the module, all right? Okay, guys, I don't want to take much more of your time. Alexander, thank you so much 
or sending me your computer. I'm very glad to be able to help you. I will keep the computer running probably for an hour on different RPMs. I'm going to save a different recordings, take pictures of the tests that I'm doing. But yep, your computer is good to go. I am very confident of the repairs and you're gonna have the driver looks, the crystal driver looks in really, really good shape. I would just recommend you to make sure that you have a good set of injectors installed on the car. I mean, on the, on the boat, and then you're good to go. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. All right, this is a short video just to confirm your um, concerns on the computer. Alex, Alexander Magana. Uh, this is your computer. I have it connected to the simulator. Just going to turn the ignition on, and we immediately going to see the injector on uh, terminal J117 being shorted. So we can see that is indeed stuck on. We can see the the one in J11. Just to make sure I'm saying that correct. Yes, it's not, but the one in J117 is. So I'm going to open the computer and see what I see. So I'll be right back. Hi, Alexander. All right, I finished uh, the test with the curve tracer. As you can see, it just was performing. As you can see, it's test complete. So I go all over the board with my uh, results and we do have a problem with the uh, injector driver. So everything you can see with green means it passed the test. So everything is looking really good except for this condition. So. We have on this computer, we have a two set of pre-drivers and drivers for the injectors. So the one for J17 is the upper section here, and the one for the lower is for J11, which is, again, two injectors. As we can see, it's not on the driver that I can replace, it's on the pre-driver, which is a crystal. I don't see a damage on the pre-driver, I see a damage on, a damage on the pad. So. I'm going to try to clean and redo the pads and replace this PGT transistor. It's like a diode that is in here to see if we remove the short, because otherwise we might have a pre-driver shorted and that is will be a not repairable. So again, I'm going to try my best to help you here, but these are the results that I'm getting right now. If will be in any of these components that are replaceable, I will definitely call you and tell you that it is repairable. And this I'm going to try, help out, and see if I can make it work. Otherwise, I will contact you and then give you the results. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.